This is the latest project I've been working on. It's a little um, thumb plane, a finger plane. This is the uh, box I made for it. Uh, made from oak with a paduke infill in the centre. Um, and I French polished the uh, box. And the uh, lid lifts off like this. You can see the paduke there. to reveal the plane inside. It's made from um, brass and O1 tool steel um, with a paduke wedge um, and front infill. And it's also got that paduke um, bed for the uh, blade. And I've dovetailed um, all the way round, and it's got through tenons here. And then a round tenon coming through the base of the back here. And I've got a um, my maker's mark, new maker's mark I designed up there. And then I stamped the uh, back of the blade with my with my name on this one. And the um, blade is O1 tool steel as well. I flattened the sole and um, polished it. And it's got a very fine mouth on it. And I also added a little Cupid's bow detail to the bottom of the wedge. It's a bevel down plane. And again, I've polished the, uh, the back of the blade there. And there's the uh, Paduke bed. And uh, the tool steel here with the through tenons on. So yeah, that's what I've been working on at the moment. So I'll just stick the blade back in and give it a test run. So being a fun plane, it's mainly for light work. It's great for taking off chamfers and arras edges and for curve work. Um, instrument makers would find it useful as well as uh, model makers. It's easy to uh, adjust uh, depth of cut just by tapping the top of the blade or decrease depth of cut by hitting the back of the uh, body. Um, the bed angle is 55 degrees which is quite steep but what that means is it gives a lovely finish to the timber. So this is just a scrap of uh, utility. See, it gives a lovely curl. And just using a bit of paraffin wax on the sole helps it to go over the wood. And like I say, being that steeper angle, it gives a lovely finish to the wood. It doesn't require any sanding and um, it should help to reduce tear out as well if you had a figured piece of timber. So that was um, that's a piece of utility. Also got a piece of hard maple here. No problem, lovely finish left on the uh, surface. And then a little piece of oak here. And a little bit of paraffin wax on the sole helps it to glide along. This is quite a 
a white piece as well, almost as wide as the blade. No problem playing that lovely finish. And um, like I say, it's great for taking off arrow edges just to take the sharpness off of the corners. If you're doing any fine, fine work, it's great for that. Um, and then easy for adding chamfers. It's great for that too. So, so yeah, that's what I've been working on. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it's a lovely looking plane with the uh, Paduke infills and I left a little bit of sapwood on there as a contrast which I thought looked quite nice. Um, and I think it's quite a unique little plane. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'd love to know what you think of it. And um, I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.